You should prepare your kids for every scenario. Talk to young people, both boys and girls. About everything that is normal happening is a part of life. I'm Shalima, I'm from Egypt. My name is Sana, I'm from Iraq in origin. My name is Bims Diemi, specifically from Nigeria. I have two little ones. I have uh, two girls and one boy. I've got two boys. I also have two boys. We're, We're sisters. sisters. Puberty is something you never ever forget. I knew some of what to expect, but there was also the feeling of, okay, what if my experience is not like everybody's own? I felt worried because I didn't know that everybody's different. I started to look at my friend's body and don't know what's happening to them and what's not happening to me. My mom didn't prepare me at all. I even had some aunties that would joke around and say, oh, you're growing this, you're growing that. I didn't like that attention. Yeah. My advice to any parent who is nervous about talking about puberty or periods is just talk, just start. It is something normal and it's gonna happen one day. Why we want our daughters to be scared. If you are not gonna talk to your kids or you are not gonna talk to your nieces, who is gonna talk to them? How are they gonna know what's happening to them? And talk to them about the emotional changes, you know, things that will go on in their bodies and let them be free to be able to talk to you yeah. when they also have issues. That's often overlooked. Sometimes there are mood swings. I'm going through that with my 13 year old right now. And I just have to remember I've gone through this before and offer him support as well. I think parents should prepare a child at every stage, not at one stage that they think it's the right stage for them. It's better to not to be nervous and talk to your daughter about it because you don't want, to, want uh, her to get false information from friends or from the internet. If the parents are not that confident or from a culture that's a big shame to talk to their kids, find a counselor, find someone to talk to your kids. If you don't have answers for them, go ask people. Google it. Yeah, go online because next time they wouldn't come to you. You're shying away from answering a question, they'll rather go to someone else. So do your best. I don't know the answer, darling. I will make sure I get an answer for you. It's good for parents to listen to what their kids have to say. Keep an open, open door so that whatever they're going through, they can come and talk to you about it. And it's not a taboo to talk about it, please. Talk about it. Talk about it. For more information on body changes and periods, visit the Know Your Health website at fpnsw.org.au forward slash know-your-health and click on the periods tab or call the Family Planning New South Wales talk line on 1300 658 886 for free and confidential advice. If you want to speak to someone in your language, call the Translating and Interpreting Service on 13 14 50 and ask to be connected to Family Planning New South Wales talk line.